Hello, this is Karen from the needlefelter.com. Today we're going to make a polar bear cub. I started by looking at reference photos and making a sketch that I used as my pattern. There's a link to download it in the video description below. This armature was tricky for me to figure out. I tried using 22 gauge cloth wrapped wire, but it was too flimsy. So I switched to a 14 gauge aluminum wire. I cut a 12 inch and a 16 inch piece. I bent the 12 inch wire in half and loosely twisted it about an inch and a half. I separated the ends of the wire. I bent the 16 inch wire in half. Placed it over the split on the first wire. And then I twisted the wires on the right side twice and repeated that on the opposite side to make the shoulders. I straightened the shoulders into a horizontal line and that turned out not to be a good idea. It made the shoulders too high up, so if I were doing this again, I'd leave them more sloped. I bent the long wires back and twisted them to make the spine. Measuring from the base of the bear cub's neck, I made the back about two and a quarter inches long. It was too long, I'd go with two inches instead. I marked the leg and arm measurements on the wire using a Sharpie. I bent the arms at about one and a quarter inches to make the elbows. and then again at one and an eighth inches to make the paw. I folded the wire back in toward the body and then trimmed it at about a quarter inch or so. I bent each leg forward at one and five eighths inches to make the knee, and then I bent it again at one and three eighths inches to make the ankles. Then I bent it at a half inch to make a foot, folded the remaining wire back down, and trimmed it above the ankle to complete the foot. Finally, I pinched the loop at the tip of the head. I bent that forward about a half inch from the base of the neck, and then just curved it slightly And that's the armature. To get started with the core wool, I tore off about an eight inch piece and divided it into half inch strips. I put a line of white glue on the wire to help the core wool grab. And then I wrapped the entire armature. Then I built up the wool to about a half inch thickness on the arms, legs, and body. When I was wrapping it, I tried to keep the core wool in a flat ribbon as I wrap, and then I lightly felt it in place using a medium needle. That helps keep it smooth, and it also makes it easier to add additional layers. I tried to be careful not to lose the bends in the spine, elbows, knees, and ankles. You could 
use thicker strips, but I prefer to build up thin layers. I think it gives you a tighter, firmer wrap so you don't have to do as much felting with the needle later. I added a little bit more wool to the spine and built that out to about three quarters of an inch. And then I wrapped a small amount of wool around the head to get that started and gave the whole piece a good felting to firm it up. Next I tore off a five inch by about two inch wide piece of core wool. It's probably about half inch thick. I folded that in half and attached it behind the spine to make the bear cubs back. I tore off small pieces of core wool to build up the limbs, the head, and the snout. I used the short florist pins to indicate where the eyes would be. and I made temporary core wool ears just to help me get a feel for the face. I added core wool to build up the belly and the chest. I decided to use glass eyes for this piece. I felted a slight divot around the pins, the base of the pins, so the eyes would be set into the head a little bit. I like to sort of rotate the pins to make the hole more visible. I did that and then made a larger, deeper opening with my awl. And then I glued the eyes in place. For the fur, I used Serafina White. It was a giveaway from a Fiber Fairy Friday a while back. I just started covering the whole bear with the top coat. I trimmed back the core wall on the face. It, it was definitely too wide. I made ears out of the Serafina White to replace the placeholder core wall ears. And I put just a smidge of DHG shell carded merino inside each ear. I added DHG dark carded merino to the nose I felt to the layer of it and then I sort of rolled up small balls of wool and attached them to build the nose out forward a little bit. And I used my awl to help push the wool around or pull it where it needed to be. and check the nose from different angles until I was happy with it. I wanted to add a little color around the eyes, so I tried dotting almost like eyeliner with a Spectrum Noir Illustrator alcohol marker. The color I used was BG6, which is brown gray. I 
I liked it, but it needed to be a little bit darker. So I rolled a tiny rope of dark DHG carded merino and felted that in. I think the alcohol marker gave the color a little more depth than just the wool alone. I felted indentations in the paws for the toes. I mixed a pale grayish brown color using beaver and sand dollar DHG carded merino. And then I felted thin ropes of this color to the toes to give them just a little bit of depth. and my polar bear cub was done. He looks a little bit older, honestly, than I was going for, but yeah, you know, that's an excuse to make another one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and thanks for watching.